let's start with how enterprises are connecting branch offices today. Enterprises have branch offices all over the globe in different locations. And in some cases, it is factories or sites and different types of facilities from which the enterprises have to connect users has to connect some infrastructure like servers and machines like IoT and OT. So let's pick some more branch offices and see how all this connectivity looks like. You have a branch office two, you have another branch office in a different region or metro, and you still have data centers for most of the customers and they have some applications and servers and services which are run from this location. And if you look at all the users, servers and IoT and OT, how they are connected, they go to typically all the destinations which are reachable over internet. So you have things like regular internet-based domains, you have SaaS-based applications, and you have some public cloud applications which are hosted in infrastructure as a service or platform as a service. So if you look at how all the connectivity is done today, SD-WAN or traditional SD-WANs have done an amazing job and brought simplicity to branch offices by enabling local internet breakouts. So let's put some SD-WAN appliances or traditional WAN devices, which would enable that connectivity at each and every site so that the local internet breakout is enabled at all the sites. So if you see this, the branch offices from SD-WAN or traditional SD-WAN solutions enable that connectivity to internet. But there are a lot of applications and endpoints behind these branch offices which need connectivity to the data center or sometimes connectivity between the sites. And SD-WANs have simplified the connectivity for branch offices by establishing a site-to-site -site VPN tunnels and automated it through a centralized systems which can orchestrate, push the configuration, and enable that connectivity between two sites so that all the servers, IoT and OT devices can have an access to their application sitting in the data center or sometimes in another sites. But the challenge in this approach is you need to enable firewall function or sometimes even deploy firewalls at all of these sites. So most of the SD-WAN products out there are very good at simplifying the, the whole connectivity and uh, how the site-to-site the, the -site VPN and other types of VPNs are really uh, leveraged to connect to the desired applications, especially when it comes to the applications which are sitting in the data centers. The, the challenge with, uh, or most of these SD-WAN de deployments do need firewalls, especially when they're going out to the internet. That means there is a huge challenge of attack surface because these IP addresses are directly exposed to internet. So any malware or any bad actor could see the IP addresses and use that as a vector for launching some advanced persistent threats and exfiltrate the data. So that's one huge challenge um, when it comes to SD-WANs. So let me write down the challenge. So the first challenge is internet attack surface. The fundamental principles of zero trust is to make sure the applications 
should not be made visible to the end user or the end user should not be knowing where they are connected to. And second important principle is you always constantly challenge the user, verify, establish the trust before you give access. And when you give the access, you give access for the initiator to a resource for a specific period of time and re-challenge and re-authenticate um, uh, uh, for every time they come and access. And those principles are the reason why remote access VPNs are becoming obsolete. Let's talk about the second challenge we have with this, type, with this uh, network design. So if you look at the non-user endpoints, oftentimes it's a challenge to install endpoints and you have to rely on routing and uh, connectivity back into the data centers or other sites uh, through SD WANs. Let's look at what happens when when a, when a server or IoT device want to access an application which is sitting in the data center here. So traditionally, SD WANs would establish a site-to-site -site VPN tunnel. Typically, it is a point-to-point -point IPsec VPN tunnel or a flavor of it. And you could automate uh, all of that configuration with SD WANs by having minimal clicks. While they solve the problem of simplifying this, the fundamental problem of connectivity between two sites and having these non-user traffic leveraging those tunnels is still a network-to-network -network connection. Let's look at the site-to-site -site VPN challenges with this technology components. Let's say you have a printer which is trying to access a print server which is hosted in the data center. So typically, you would establish this site-to-site -site VPN tunnel and point this entire network or VLAN through this particular tunnel. So to access this print server, this machine is pointed towards this and the reachability happens. To make this happen, you need to distribute routes. That means you need to build a complex routing network and environment where you have a connectivity from one location to another location. Now, let's look at what are the challenges with that. If I have a machine in this network which is compromised, it has a complete access to reach not only to the print server, wherever this site reachability is, it can go and spread laterally to any point. That is a huge security threat because you are giving a network to network access when it comes to non-user endpoints like printers and IoT devices. To fix this problem, most of the customers do bring firewalls into the picture. And you deploy a firewall in front of these SD WANs and you try to leverage firewalls intrusion prevention or other NGFW kind of capabilities to block those threats. But the challenge with those threats is, or the challenge with, with the firewalls on these sites or the on-prem uh, branch firewalls uh, uh, technology is they are signature based. You cannot identify some sophisticated C2 type, C2 command and control type of threats without really inspecting the traffic. And while you turn on the inspection, your performance goes down and that becomes a challenge. So the challenge with existing traditional vans when it comes to lateral threat movement is leveraging firewalls, which is much inefficient way. And not only that, if you look at how the connectivity happens, there is a huge challenge of routing complexity. As you start building out your network and add more new branch offices or mergers and acquisitions, your network keep becoming bigger and bigger and you have to constantly enhance your routing complexity associated with that design. So these are the three big challenges which are associated with how branch offices are connected leveraging existing traditional SD-WAN solutions. Zscaler has become very successful in the past few years enabling customers to completely eliminate and replace remote access VPN solutions with Zscaler's zero trust private application access solution. 
And in the Zscaler Zero Trust SD-WAN solution, we are leveraging the same foundational principles on how any two entities or endpoints should be connected.